guys, Van here from rcnightmare.com and today I'm going to show you how to um, install the ballistic brushless motor into the Blitz ESC. Uh, reason for this is my Novak kinetic and ballistic motor order came in and it's time to put it into the truck here. So let's take this time to show you how I do it. So the ESC itself comes with uh, no motor, so you can see here this is where the motor would go, but there's nothing there. Um, but I need access to the motor plate, which is right here, covered by this gearbox cover, so let me just undo this. There's two cap screws here, this one here, and then one more beneath it, right over here, that you need to undo to get this off. Pretty straightforward. Two screws. I've already taken the other one off, so... There we are. So, motor is going to go through right there. And here it is. So, I just slide in the motor through the back here. If you can see this through the back, just like that. Um, I'm actually going to leave the tabs, the power cable tabs here face forward or up like this so that uh, it gives me some space to um, solder the power wires to in a moment here so okay so with the motor in place there just line up the um, mounting screws here to the hole on the f uh, canister of the motor. I just hand tighten that one in and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to this other one. Okay, let's see. Ugh. This is a little bit trickier just because it's on camera and I want this to be like this. Let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. There. So I just like to hand tighten them in place just because then I know I won't be stripping any of the threads. Um, okay, before I tighten it, um, it's still adjustable there like that because it's got no pinion on there too, right? So I'm just gonna, I just adjusted the shaft on the motor there. There's a, there's a flat end. And I want that to face forward because when I put the pinion on, I'm going to have to tighten the set screw. So let me go ahead, slide that on there. Good. And so with the pinion kind of lined up with the spur there, I'm just going to tighten the pinion set screw down. This is a 21 tooth. See how this goes. I may need to adjust up or down. But we'll run it like this first to see how it does. Okay, so the next step is just just to tighten down um, those cap screws. But I want to ensure that I have proper gear meshing. So to do that, trick is just to put a sliver of paper in there and then slide the motor into the uh, spur like that and then tighten there we go that one and then one more right there so with that tighten just uh, manually run the spur like that there to get the paper out that's usually uh, a good gear mesh like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down a little further just to set it there we go there we go. Okay. So that's it. That's how you replace or put in a new motor. Um, to replace it, I would just remove the existing motor in the reverse order and then put in the new one like that. Cap goes on. That's all we need. Um, next thing is to tin these tabs and then um, feed the ESC power cables through and solder them onto the motor. 
the reason why I didn't solder them first is I wanted to run them through the uh, channels here through in the shock body shock tower I mean um, so that the cables are not just dangling out here you know they could get caught in the wheels or the shocks or whatever so I'm gonna run them through there and because of that I couldn't solder them beforehand so let me go ahead and tin these uh, tabs here so you saw earlier that um, I applied the Dean's connector onto the ESC so kind of in the same way I'm just gonna tin these motor tabs and prepare them to accept the other uh, ESC power cables. Okay, let me see. Can you see this? So, normally the way I solder is um, I put the iron on the opposite side just to ensure that enough heat penetrates the whole surface that I'm soldering to, but because this is a little tricky and you can't really get to the other side of the tab there because the motor's in the way, right? So, I'm just going to apply the heat on one side of the tab here and solder next to it that's all next tab that's all and then just to the third tab here these tabs are labeled um, as to what cables which of the power cables goes to them so the sequence goes A, B, C and on the ESC it's um, marked that way to A, B, C. So it would go blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, orange. That's how that goes. And there you have it. This is installing the um, ballistic motor into the um, blitz here and tinning it, preparing it to accept the ESC power cables. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like this, please subscribe to our channel. And check out our website at rcnightmare.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.